And we thank you this morning. So grateful to be here this morning. We say thank you for our lives. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your understanding. It was in your perfect plan that we show up this morning and celebrate you. So we say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the breath, your breath in our lungs. He said, thank you, O God. Rekondalia zot hora bakandalia zete. Makatara koyoto. You've been a defender. You've been a strength. For that we worship you this morning as your king and your lord, your magnificent, your omnipotent, and your omnipresent. You've been a faithful father throughout all generations. So we worship you this day. Faithful God, faithful, faithful, that is who you are. There is no one like you, God. Don't be compared unto you. Your mercies are new every morning. Everybody, we bless you, Lord. We bless you. You've shown us goodness. You've shown us kindness. You've demonstrated your love to us daily. So, God, we say, we thank you for the promise your word. We served willingly. Corobosoto, thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for understanding, oh Father. Thank you for your word. Oh Father, we say thank you for Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins. Thank you thank you father for changing our identity reconciling us back to the father through the blood man Lift up our voices in holy 
want to let you know, Father, we recognize all your dealings in our lives, Father. And for those that our eyes cannot see, that say we worship you for those. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ah, for your faithfulness, Father. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Our families are beneficiaries, oh God, of your faithfulness, of your kindness, of your love, your unfailing love and your unfailing compassion. We give you praise, we give you glory, we know you are exalted, we know you are exalted, we know you are exalted. Through the bush and we bless your holy name, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now we're going to have a few prayer topics here for us. Most of them are reminders of God's promises to us. Amen. Amen. From Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Amen. Amen. Love, we know that trust is a necessary virtue for our spiritual journey. It's impossible for us to be successful in this walk with the Father without exercising the virtue of trust in him. Amen. So these scriptures come once again to remind us, may we not take it as a familiar text, because there are many ways that we exercise and prove that we really do not trust the Lord. So may the Lord renew within us trust for him and in him. Amen. Let Amen. us pray. Father, we thank you for your Father, we cannot admit that we cannot do things by ourselves. We cannot go on this journey by ourselves. For the name of Jesus Christ, we say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Father, for the revival and renewing within us trust in you, Lord. We are for a better, we are desiring to do this by ourselves. Therefore, we seek glad that we trust in you, Father. We serve of God and trust in you. In the name of Jesus, we are so tired of our work. Our hearts, oh Father, Father, we believe we are so tired. 
and lean on our own understanding. Because we admit that our understanding is limited in the name of Spirit, the one that lead and guide us and bring us to submit our ways to you, Father. Thank you for the name of Jesus. We say to you, in all glory, with all honor, all adoration. Father, we say to you, say we love you, Lord. Amen. And we bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We continue on the aspect of trust. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 says, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Quite often we look for blessings in the wrong places. But this scripture is assuring us that there is blessing. There is a blessing for those who put their trust in him and those who have confidence in him. And Psalm 147 verse 11 says, The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his mercy amen let's lift up our voices and thank the lord for these promises and recommit ourselves to trust and hope in him once again fully in jesus name let us amen. pray father in the name of jesus what promises us this morning that blessed, blessed is the one lord trust that you desire for us to trust about all things. We are around looking for blessings in the wrong places and exercise of our love of trust in you, Father. That this morning you can be assuring us that blessed is the one who trusts the name of Jesus and whose confidence Lord, I pray that you can go Father, we say all to another level in you. Our confidence once again is what has been so yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Love, God has plans for us. Amen. And one of his plans is to conform us into the image of Christ. And this plan did not begin when we showed up on planet Earth. He predestined this plan for us prior to us arriving upon this earth. So it should not come to us as a surprise that daily the word of God is inviting us into a realm that we ought to be conformed into the image of Christ. Amen. Yeah. So let's find out from the, from the word of God what he has to say concerning this plan of his so that we can align ourselves with his plan and enjoy his benefits for us in the kingdom. In Romans 8, 29, the Bible says, for those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he yeah. might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. Amen. And, amen. So, beloved, this is God's plan amongst many that we be conformed into the image of his son. So our prayer this morning concerning Romans 8.29 is that we will not resist the plan of God to be conformed into the image of his son. Amen. It amen. is his and it is his delight, it is his desire for us, and his delight should also be our delight and desire in the name of Jesus. Mm. Now, Philippians 1 verse 6 says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in yes. you will carry it on to completion unto the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 
confidence that God is not man. He's not the arm of flesh who will fail, but he is a kind of God that when he begins something in our lives, he takes it to completion. He doesn't yeah. start and doesn't finish. Quite often we get excited about starting, but we never complete. But God is a beginner and he's a finisher and he's everything in between. Amen. Yeah, you know, amen. Understand Romans 8, 29 and Philippians 1 verse 6. Let's, may you lift up your voices unto him and pray. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we say thank you for your perfect plan for us. For you had a plan for us, for you to smash us here on planet. Therefore, we say thank you, Father. You dispatched us here with a plan in place. You did not just throw us here for the earth to throw us, to throw ourselves out, God. You had a perfect plan designed for us, God, from creation, God. With guessing that we be conformed to the image of your son. And as so and so Lord God, I thank you for the calling. I thank you, O God, that you have chosen me to be a in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, I just want to encourage us. There is a word, there's a sentence that goes like this. Keep on keeping on, meaning continue to make progress, irrespective of the obstacles that you and I face on the way. May we be strengthened in the process and continue to make progress in Christ. Amen. And in the kingdom. In Colossians 2, verse 6 to 7, the Bible says, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him amen amen continue beloved irrespective of the obstacles irrespective of the roars of the enemy continue irrespective of of the misunderstandings irrespective of irrespective of the challenges that you and i face daily 
challenges will come daily, but continue, continue in Christ because grace has been made available to you and I. El Shaddai sees to it that because he is our all sufficiency, he will continue to make provisions in every dimension possible so that we succeed in this journey in the name of Jesus. So Amen. then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him. Now, as you continue this journey, be rooted and built up in him. Do not just go through the journey passively. For the fact that you and I face challenges gives us more reasons to be rooted and built up in him. Amen. Amen. May we be strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. Amen. Amen. Let's not grumble. Let's lay aside grumble, every form of grumble and heartaches and pains and all, all alike, all, all of those things and continue to grow in him and continue to be rooted and built up and strengthened in our faith. Do not give up. Do not cave in. Do not conform to the image of the world. Be conformed to the image of Christ as we see yes. because that's God's original plan for us. Amen. Then 2 Peter 3.18 says, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. We receive grace where we can grow in grace. Amen. From grace to grace and from faith to faith and from glory to glory. Amen. Amen. But grow in the grace, but grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Jesus Christ, Amen. refuse to be stagnant in mm. Jesus' name, Amen. refuse stagnation, but grow in the name of Jesus, to him be glory, Amen. both now and forever, let us pray, Amen. 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 We choose to continually yeah, make progress in the name of Jesus. Your word says that so then, just as we have received my life, Jesus, my life, Jesus as our Lord, we continue, Father, to live our lives in the in the name of Jesus. Father, we choose to continue to live our life in Christ Jesus. in the name of Jesus Christ. But at this day, we choose to grow from grace to grace and from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. We choose to grow, oh Father, from faith to faith. We choose to grow from knowledge to knowledge. But I would say to you, glory both now and forever. In Jesus, name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Father, thank you, Father. Beloved, this morning I want us to renew our minds in the area of persecutions. May we learn to appreciate persecutions, for this is necessary in our walk. Amen. A life Glory to God. It's not a strengthened life in the kingdom, amen. It's a life that will give up easily. But when we face persecutions, it helps strengthen us as well. In James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, the Bible says this, Consider it pure joy, pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many things, amen. Because, this is a reason, you know that the testing of your faith uses perseverance. Amen. So in order for you to say that I can persevere, the question I may want to ask you is that have you experienced trials? Have you experienced many kinds of trials? Amen. 
in trials, it produces pers perseverance, amen, the virtue of perseverance, amen. Then it says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything, amen. not amen. lacking anything, meaning that if you and I do not experience persecutions, trials enough, then we lack something. But this day we have come to say, Father, we choose not to lack anything. So if yeah. it's persecutions, please permit it come our way because we do not want to lack anything in this world. Let us pray. Father, in the name Father, of the name of the Lord, thank you for your you know that the testing of our faith or perseverance. And we just thank you for perseverance, oh God. We thank you for what the trials brings in it. It is to glorify you, oh God. And for us to be confident in you, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you are able to see us through in Jesus' name. There is no other place I have to persevere in us. It is to mature us and complete us that we lack nothing in the name of the Lord Christ. So we thank you, Lord, for the trials that we're going to go through, the trials that you are going to go through when you go to Christ of Nazareth, and as we walk and build our relationship. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for persecutions in the name of Jesus. We thank, thank you Lord. for diverse trials in the name of Jesus. Rosa Tondelia Cora Bazeketeria Bassete, Rocora Mazak Handelia. So, but I will say thank you. May we not give up, oh Father, in the midst of persecutions in the name of Jesus. May we not give up in the midst of trials in the name yes. of Jesus. Macora Bassete, but may we be strengthened. Racorebo Seteria Bacorobo Sandelia Zata. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Yes. Beloved, bear with me. My, my computer went off. I got disconnected, so I have to get back to my slides. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you know what we have need of. 
You know what we need to pray for even right now. Let's cut the blackout in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift it up to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you praise. Oh, bless your name, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. In Romans 5, verse 3 to 5, the Bible says, Not only so, but we, we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Amen. Mm, suffering, amen. trials produce perseverance. And it says perseverance produces character and character hope. Yes. We will not know how well behaved we are until we face sufferings and trials. Yes, Lord. Because sufferings and trials produce character, perseverance, and then perseverance produces character and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame. Yes. Because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Amen. As we pray on this particular subject matter, I want us to declare that we will not bypass the process. Amen. Sometimes we want to get all the way to hope, but we don't want the sufferings. We don't want the perseverance and we don't want the character, but we want the hope. If our prayer this morning concerning this, as we appreciate persecutions, is that we will not bypass and shortchange the process. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that Lord, we will not bypass this process. Thank you, Father. Ah, Father, we will not bypass the process in the name of Jesus. We glory also in in our suffering because we know our suffering produces perseverance. Father, Father God, we thank you. Oh God, for the things that we will do, the sufferings that we we come in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. In the that name of Jesus, you, oh God, and it's to break us in the oh God, that we can have confidence in you, that our trust might be built in you, oh God, will be sharpened in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, our perseverance comes to build us, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, it comes to bring to build our character. In the name of Jesus Christ, that we can open you, oh God, our desires to line up with your, will, with your ways and your character. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So as we draw nigh to you, O oh God, and as we move and trust you even more, O oh God, that we'll be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. When we glory to God, we serve mighty God. We serve an awesome God because you love us so much, O oh God, that you pour your loving heart by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us to lead and guide us and teach us and bring us into all truth and all things to our remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Father, we bless you and we praise you this morning for the confidence that you're building in us yes. through perseverance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In John 16, verse 3, the Bible says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Mm. In this world you have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. In this world you have trouble. The enemy always looks for opportunities to throw trouble in that direction. But the Bible says it's encouraging us that we should take heart. But Jesus Christ has overcome the world, and we have Jesus yes. Christ in us, and we are born of God, therefore we overcome as well. We are overcomers. We are victors. Amen. Romans Amen. 8, verse 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So let us pray in light of these verses. Amen. Father, Amen. we thank you because Father, we have we overcomers. And we thank you, Lord, that your word says in John 16, 33, in the name of Jesus, that you have this world, you told have these things to us so that in you, heart, oh, Father, we may have you peace. Have overcome and the world will have trouble. We have you in but we are not to faint because so you have overcome the world. 
function as victims, not as victims. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Father, we trust God. That surpasses all, all understanding and take for us. Our good. Father, you said we that love you and we are called we are of God, God little children and have overcome in the name them. Of Jesus. Because greater is you that's in us than he that's in the world. So we thank you, Father, for trouble. But oh God, we bless you. We have overcome the world that we are able to walk in it in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace is with us in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that all things work together for the good of them that love you and are called according to your purpose. So we thank you, Lord, that whatever you have called us to, we are able to walk it out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because we are called according to your purpose. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We love point number five. We need to keep pressing on. Let's press on. Sometimes that is what is required in this walk. Amen. We need to press on, press through. In Philippians 3, 14, the Bible says, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Sometimes it will not take a regular sprint or a regular, you know, marathon. Sometimes you need to press on, amen, press on because it gets challenging. The, the obstacles become many, but we need to keep pressing on. There's a price to be won, amen. And may we win that price. May the enemy not derail our focus. There is a goal post. God has a plan and there is a Price at the end for us to win. May we not be cheated from this um, reward in the name of Jesus. In Hebrews 12, verse 2, it says, Fixing our eyes on Jesus, not on ourselves, not on our leaders, not on society, but on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Remember that Jesus is the author of life. Amen. Our focus ought to be on him. He's a pioneer and the perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Beloved, I don't know what Amen. you and I need, you need to endure. I know what I need to endure. I don't know what you need to endure. And I don't know what you need to scorn in the process in order to achieve and attain that goal, in order to keep your eyes fixed so that you can achieve what God wants you to achieve. But whatever it is, may your, may your, may your focus remain on Jesus Christ, amen, as you endure the process. In amen. Jesus name. Let's pray and receive grace to keep pressing and fixing our eyes. Father, we say thank you for your word this morning, which has okay. come to encourage us once again, Father, that we need to keep pressing Increase on. It. Your word says, I press, I press, press on to the goal to win the prize for which morning. God has Lord called me heavenward in Christ that you have Jesus. Called us to for this prize, so Father, is in you, Father, Christ Jesus. That we are pressing. Say, Thank you. Because we desire to oh, Father. We, we, we desire we to choose, be with oh him. Father, to in receive every the reward that you have in store for us oh, God, in the let name of Jesus. Horrible Sata. Oh Father, we say thank you. Jesus Christ is our example. Glory to God. Eyes were fixed the on you, that you Father, have for us, when, oh God. The, when the cross the when that is placed not upon that world. cross, oh uh, Father, God, we are told that we ought to, like Father, Jesus Christ, continue to fix our you eyes on Jesus, our the founder and the perfecter of our faith, for the joy the that, that was set before Jesus. Him, and endured the cross. I don't know what all, Father, everyone on the name of Jesus Christ, but Father, we know that you know it better. Than we do. Oh God, we Our give Father, you for the things that we know that we ought to that do, we endure them. We discount the shame of those things. Die for 
Lord, even though the he was going to be torn and pain, oh God, he counted all joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us count it all joy for we go through the small things that we go through. Let us not be weary in well doing. Let us not be vain, oh God, but let us build up our trust. Let us build our trust, oh God, in the name of so we bless your holy name, O God, that he endured the suffering. Oh God, for our sake, in the name of Jesus Christ, let us endure, oh God, by living for him in the name of Jesus Christ, by keeping our eyes on him in the name of Jesus. We bless you for persevering in the name of Like him in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, and we give you praise. We give you glory and honor. Oh God, that our heart will be shift. Our heart of stone will be replaced with heart of flesh. Oh, Father, we just give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, my Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know, I would like us to use the last 10 to 12 minutes to pray for the upcoming retreats on Saturday. Amen. Amen. I also pray that the Lord will establish the retreat plans. Amen. The plan is simple to unveil the righteousness of God. Amen. But the word of God tells us in Romans um, chapter 1, verse 16, Paul was speaking that he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is a power of God unto salvation. Amen. Amen. And then in verse 17, he tells us that the righteousness of God is being revealed to us mm. from faith to faith. So the yeah. goal of the retreat is to reveal the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God is constant, but we, we need to, to, to grow in that righteousness from faith to faith, in our understanding of that righteousness from faith to faith. Amen. Because the righteousness of God is constant. So I want us to pray that God will establish this plan, that the plan to unveil his righteousness will come to pass in the name of Jesus. And we yeah. pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says in Proverbs 16, verse 3, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plan. Let your plans go Father God, as we commit ourselves to you in the name of Jesus, we pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. But I will say thank you for establishing this plan to unveil the righteousness of God in the body of Christ. as we pray, whatsoever you have started in our journey, strengthen us, O God, where we are weak in the name of Jesus. Help us to lift up our eyes on the hills when it comes to the let us know that you are the Father. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Romans 1, 16 to 17, the full quotation says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also to the Greek. And verse 17 says, For in it, meaning in the gospel, for in it, the righteousness of God is revealed. Amen. From faith Amen. to faith. And as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Amen. Amen. 
So the second point I would like us to pray for the retreat is for the Lord's people. In Ephesians 6 verse 18, it says, At all times, pray by the power of the Spirit. Pray all kinds of prayers. Be watchful so that you can pray. Always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen. Let us pray for the people, their hearts, their commitments, amen, to the kingdom um, to, to, to kingdom agenda that people will not only show up but they'll show up prepared to receive and to do amen they will not be ever hearing but never coming to the knowledge of the truth amen let us pray we pray, O God, that they come with a joyful heart, 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 that Oh God, they receive it with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. We send a clarion call that you have already ordained at the conference in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, that you now in the name of Jesus and remind them of their appointed time in the name of Jesus Christ. A clarion call to God, calling them out of the in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, that they will show up, oh God, and they will come with a grateful right attitude and posture, ready to go in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you praise, glory, and honor, O God, for what you're going to do in the name of Jesus Christ, Nazareth. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Proverbs 6, 23. For this command is a lamp. This teaching is a light. And correction and instruction are the way to life. Amen. I, I desire, our desire is that this verse be fulfilled during the retreat, that the word will come, the unveiling of the word of God will be light and lamps to people, amen, and that the teaching of, will be light to them, and that the instruction and the instruction will be a way of life for them, that it will be received well, first of all, and it will be implemented in their personal lives, amen. For the command of the Amen. Lord is lamb, the teaching is light, correction and instruction are the way to life. Let us pray. Yeah. Father, we pray that may this scripture be established. Oh God, may it become uh, life in the lives of the people. For this command it becomes flesh. is a light. And corrections and instructions are the way of life. Father, we know that the Lord says, we will correct you out. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your word is a light to us. In the light of our hearts. Oh God, let it light up in our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that we not only but we thank you because this Christ has been established and it's been correction, oh God, because when we get off track, oh God, and heading on the wrong path. Your correction brings us back and put us in alignment with you and your ways in the name of Jesus Christ, with your character and what you have planned for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Correction, O oh God, in the kingdom of God is a way of life. Without correction, we are bastards. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may God we give you praise and we give you glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that we are children of the Most High God. We are sons in the name of Jesus Christ, because we are being led by the Holy Spirit and not by our flesh. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit who comforts us 
lead us and guide us and bring us into all truth and the things to our remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ, whatsoever you have spoken. God, we give you praise, glory, and honor for the conference. And we thank you for every person coming out. We thank you for the word that is going to go forth. Let that fresh oil come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. To touch the woman of God even now, Father. And take her beyond preparation in the name of Jesus Christ. As you use her tongue as you're ready to write her. Touch her lips and clay in Jesus' name. Have your divine way as she submit herself. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you praise. Amen. Give you glory and, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Point four, number five, will be will pray for help in John 14, verse 16. It says, and I'll ask the Father and he'll give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. So we'll pray that the Holy Spirit will help us in the areas where we need help. And then in point number five, I'd like to I'd like us to pray from John 4, 34 for the speaker or the speakers. The Bible says, my food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Amen. Amen. I'll be speaking for the most part, but as the Lord leads, if, as, if anyone will be speaking on that day, even commenting, may this be our stance and our desire to do the will of God who sent us, amen, and to finish amen. his work uncompromisingly and unashamedly, but we are not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Yes. And it's the reason why we are gathering to unveil his righteousness. For our food is to do the will of him who sent us and to finish the work. Uh, there's a saying that we will die empty. May we finish the work. And may we not go into the grave with anything, with any unfinished business in the name of Jesus. May we pray for help and for the speakers. Let us pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for the help of the Holy Spirit. We thank you because he is our advocate. Thank you. Help us and he will be with us in the name of Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for thank what you do. Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for you going to do. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for comforting us. Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Will in the name of finish the work, you will do just what the Father will have the work to do us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So we just commit the conference to you now. And we ask you to have your do in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we desire to do the meat of the one that has called us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we desire to do the will of the Father. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, God, leading and guiding. Father, we praise. We say, have your divine will in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have it again. We submit ourselves to you. Let us decrease that you might increase in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Daddy, for reminding us about your promises to us, Father. And we thank you, Father, for the reassurance that we have received from your word this day. We thank you, Father, because for all that we have requested from you, Daddy, you have heard us. We, our trust is in you, Daddy. Our hope is in you. Our confidence, Lord, is in you. We say to you, be all glory, Lord all adoration and we declare this day once again that we stand in all of you father in jesus name in jesus Amen. name Amen. Amen. may we share our final greetings this morning may Amen. the grace, grace of our lord, lord jesus christ the love, love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you Amen. Amen. and surely Amen. goodness and mercy, and mercy shall follow us all the, all the days of our, of our lives, lives, and we will we dwell, dwell in the house of the Lord forever Amen. and ever. Amen. 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 Have a blessed day, family, and a blessed week. Amen. 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 Amen.
you. God bless you too. Have a good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Amen. Good morning. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.